Now, I'm going to show you how to prepare uh, CDC feathers, basically for dyeing, then adding a repellent, a uh, water repellent into the back into the actual CDC. Now, what I've got here, this is a natural white CDC. You can see there, it's a natural white, uh, it's not been bleached. So you've got to wash it now. Let me do about half this packet. So put it into a basin. that's enough there I would expect. Now what I'm going to be dyeing this is a ginger. Now but as I say first thing you've got to do is give it a good wash. Now I'm just using fairy liquid. Use whatever you want. Just lightly onto the top and then just basically add some warm water. Now you can see I've got the marigolds on but I'm going to be dyeing as well so I'm just keeping them on. That's it. Fix it, get the bubbles into the, the CDC feathers, just to wash any dirt from them as well as any of well, the natural oils which basically float the CDC. I know it's against the rules when you, so do, especially doing this way natural grey, don't want to do that way, natural grey. But with the white, I want to be dyeing it different colours, but I'm going to add in, I uh, use a water repellent. I'll show you how I do that as well as I go on. But the first thing I'm going to do is really give these a, a good wash. Get all the oil so that, and the muck out of these fibres, out of the CDC, so that it takes the dye much easier. Now, what I'm going to do is, is basically using a, this here. What you get for putting top of the frying pan to stop the, the oil sort of splashing out onto the top of your cooker. So what I do is I just drain the water through this to catch all the CDC feathers. Then I'll run them under the cold water, make sure you get all the feathers. Too expensive to, to lose any. Looks like I've got them all. And then what I do is simply to run the cold water through these feathers, taking away any of the, the soap. I'm using one of these calendars, or one of these, or oh, calendars, sorry, basically. allows you to wash them without losing any down the sink. Now what I do is just press the excess water out at first. Now I leave that leave them wet ready for basically dyeing. So what I'm gonna do then is mix the dye and I'll show you how I do that. Now I'm going to be ready for mixing my dye. Now I've got my pot. Basically, I've got it into heat. Now to save a bit of time, I've boiled the kettle, and then I'm going to add enough water that's going to cover the feathers, the CDC feathers. Now I'm going to use a, a ginger dye. Now this is a buy in bulk, but this this one's from Vineyards. Now well, I'm going to just use a just a normal spoon. The amount you put in, you've really got to determine yourself. Uh, basically, going by experience, I, I don't want it too strong. Believe it or not, that, that's enough enough dye there. So what I want to do is just mix it in. Just take your time, just mix it and make sure it's dissolved. You can see the colour. Then what I'm going to do is get my CDC feathers. See they're still wet. Uh, basically then I'm going to drop them in. And then mix 
these with making sure the colours all the way through these fibres. You set the fibre, set the dye using an acid like vinegar or so. Uh, there's other two or three other chemicals you can use. The uh, vinegar is the safest, so all I'm doing here is making sure it's mixed through. Now I don't want the, as I say, the colour to be too strong. That's why I only put a wee drop of dye in it. Now it's just coming to the simmer, so I'm going to add in some vinegar just to to set it and mix it while you do that. Just going to drop more in. And then, obviously, I like to bring it to the boil. Always mix the feathers through the dye when you put the, the six of that. Just basically, you've got to fix the, the colour. Now, as you can see, the, I can actually see the colour starting to go into the feathers. I can show you there, there's the feathers there. Just a nice ginger, you can see there. It's a good sign. If you put it to the side of the pot like that. Now I'm just going to work it away and keep bring it to the, the boil now we're ready to basically remove our feathers from the dye. Now the first thing I like to do is get the cold water in cool down the water and this will rinse the feathers as well. That's it ready. Now what I do is I go back to the, the sieve and then what I'm going to do is again drain, drain this through to catch the feathers. Just take your time. Obviously get all the feathers out you want. Not throw any of them away. And there we are, that's um, ready. Now what I'm going to do is run the cold water through. Just making sure the excess dies out. You don't want any of the dye on your fingers. If it's well dyed, you'll not get that anyway, so... Now what I'm going to do is remove the excess water for you with some kitchen towel. Just squeeze it, take all the excess water out of it. But to do a better job, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press it between like an old... I keep the old towels. My wife doesn't throw them away, she keeps them for me, so... Uh, I would recommend, but see if you're going to do some dyeing, to stop you falling out with the wife, make sure she's, like mine's, is in the town at the moment. Uh, she hates to come back, or hates to see me dyeing materials, especially in the kitchen. So there we are, got the till here, just basically on the top, we press the feathers between the, the till just to take all the water out and then I'll put it, I'll dry it. I'm going to dry it in the pot. I'll show you how to do it, it's quite simple to do it. Once we get all the feathers off. I don't know how some go underneath, but there we are. Then just basically. Press it, try and get all the feathers. This will take all the excess water out of it and it makes it much quicker to dry. Yeah, you can see the difference already. Then we put it back into the pot. And I'm going to blow dry it. Now, as I say, best to do this when the good lady's not in the house, which is especially when you're in the kitchen. But anyway, there's the pot. We we'll go back to our sieve. Put 
put that on the top. Get the hair dryer. And then we just basically blow dry it. This will take long to dry. Then I'm going to add a repellent on it. I'll show you how to do that as well. This is the easiest way to dry feathers. If you ever fancy doing it, this is the best way. There you go. You'll see how long this takes. I mean, there we are. Your CDC feathers. Actually, you got a couple of white in there. Don't know how I did that, but anyway, a couple of white feathers. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray these feathers with this material here. Now, as you can see, it's Nick Wax. It's a, basically a tent, it's for coating tents. It's, it's a water based waterproofer, and basically, it's got zero fluorescent or fluor carbon anyway. It's basically the light doesn't affect it. But it's very simple. Just spray it onto the feathers. Not much, I mean just enough. And we're doing it in the pot. What I'm gonna do is mix it so that it's coating all the, the C D C feathers. But no I think some you have no idea the difference it makes this. Now you can actually let them dry, or I'm going to force dry them, meaning I'm going to use the hair dryer to do it. But keep mixing. There's lots in there, you don't need a lot. Don't overdo it. Just keep mixing it to the coats all the CDC. Run your hands through it. There's lots of in the, the liquid on the pot, so soak it up, don't waste it. All the way around. So, if there's some there, you just keep going. Feathers fell out. You will coat it. If you do think you need a wee drop more, you can always put spray a wee bit more. But there's plenty still, still in there. Just spread it, just be patient with it. And there we are. Now, go back to uh, drying it with the hairdryer. It'll take a wee touch longer now, uh, but it'll dry. And then, just hold, keep it moving. Feathers do get caught in, so just pull them back. Now, you don't need to completely dry them. You can allow them to dry naturally, uh, and they will do that. Now, this is the feather being treated, dyed, always, everything. They give you an idea off, what it basically looks like. Uh, I mean, if I'm holding this, there's repellent on it, and there's the water. I mean, if you come from the top down, yeah, I'm keeping it straight. You can see how much it holds on to the water. And the, the good thing about it is it actually dries really well. We flick, and the feather is back to normal. This is after using. I mean, this this material works really well, so it does, and uh, certainly worth trying in your flies. <laughs>